So here's a few examples. So if I want to go and um, complete the square, we, s we first need to say, okay, let's just look at, if we were to, to um, see here we've got A, A is 2. So if we go back, this would tell me that this width is 2. So I'm going to have two sheets, which means that the green block is going to have to be divided into two. One sheet to go there and one sheet to go there. What is the width of the green block? The green block has a width of four. So I will have, an, uh, for each orange square, x squared, I will have a green block that is two by x. And I will have two of those because I have two orange sheets. That's what that tells me. I've got two orange sheets. Now just look, if I multiply this back in here, I'm going to have my original question, except I made a sign error, it must be negative. I will have my original question. So actually, all I did was to take out a two as a common factor. So the very first step we try and do is to get my coefficient of the x squared term to be equal to 1. And now we need to go and figure out how much must I add. Okay. Now to figure out how much must I add to complete the square, we have 4x, sorry not 4x, that must be 2x. To figure out how, must, how much must I add to complete the square, let's just now let's see. Now, this thing had to be the halved, and the two slices would each be given to, to an orange sheet. Now, for a moment, let's say there was just two slices and two orange sheets. Now, each slice, each green pillar that is being given there and there has to be divided also by 2 so that one can come on the one side and one to the other side so the width of this one used to be 4 now it is 2 and now it gets halved again which means the little block that I'm going to add the orange block that I'm adding not the orange, the blue block that I'm adding is going to have a width that is half of that pillar and a height that is half of the pillar which would be the same so in other words I'm going to add a square that is half the middle term squared in this case the middle term is 2 so half of 2 just be 1 so we all know that half of 2 squared which gives me the little orange block, a uh, blue block that I added. That is the little blue block that I added. But I didn't just add one of them, I added two of them. Which means I had to go borrow two of those blocks. And which means I somewhere owe two of those blocks. That's why I have a minus here. I owe, I went to borrow two blocks that was 2 over 2 squared, which is 1 squared. I borrowed one of those blocks, which now simply simplifies to x squared minus 2x. Uh, let's put x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 2. Now, if you were to simplify this, if you were to get rid, multiply in the 2x, in here we'll get 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 minus 2 will be 0 which is exactly what I would have there so I have not changed a thing now I just factorize that would go into two brackets the two brackets must be the same it would be x minus 1 squared 
minus 2. And there I completed the square that I wanted. Let's look at this one. And now I'm going to do the algebraic method, and you see it's actually quite easy. We take out a 3 as a common factor, even though it is not a common factor. So plus 5 then just has to be divided by 3. Yes. Now we need to add the little blue square, which is half of the middle term squared. So half of the x coefficient squared. So nothing changes. 3x squared plus 5 over 3. That's the middle term. Half of that means I multiply the numerator again, the denominator again with 2. So, so um, sorry, I'm forgetting my term. So what I'm adding is 5 over 3 squared. Sorry, and not 3, 3 times 2, half of the middle term. So 5 over 3 gets divided again, in other words, the denominator gets doubled. Now remember, that is what I added for each sheet. So I had to go borrow that for each sheet, but I had three sheets. So I borrowed three of them. Which means somewhere I am owing three times that thing that I borrowed. What did I borrow? 5 over 6 squared. Now this will go into two beautiful brackets and it's very easy to find that bracket. It will be x and it depends on what that sign will be. That's a plus because this sign tells me my two brackets that I'm multiplying must be the same. The next sign, the first sign tells me what they would be. Both of them would be a plus. This term here, what did I multiply by itself to get this term? Okay, I multiplied 5 over uh, uh, 6 times 5 over 6. That's why it's 5 over 6 squared. Okay, and if I add those two terms, I will get that answer. So I don't even need to go and simplify that 5 over 6. I can just use it as it is 5 over 6 squared minus and we can simplify that 5 over 6 squared would be 25 over 36 times 3 36 divided by 3 would be 12 so we'll get 25 over 12 that's how much I had to go and borrow to complete the square one last example and this time you see oh, this is a little bit Sneaky. Here we already have a 9. Okay, so I don't need to go and borrow so much. I already have 9. So we start by taking out our common factor just out of the first two terms. So we have x squared minus 7 over 2x. Close our brackets and we still have 9 from which we're going to borrow ourselves, we're going to borrow from ourselves, which means we're not going to owe um, so much. Now, how much must we add? The little blue term is half of the middle term squared. So 2x squared minus 7 over 2x, half of the middle term. So what I'm going to add from, and I'm adding a small square, that's why it's being squared. Half of that would be 7 over 4. That is being squared. And outside I still have 9, but I needed to go and borrow from that 9 a little bit of squares. I added 7 over 4 to each sheet, but there's two sheets. So 7 over 2 squared has to be multiplied by 2. So from that 9, I must use 2 times 7 over 4. That must be in a bracket. 7 over 
or squared. And now we can just go ahead and simplify. Two, my two brackets will this time both have a negative because the second sign is plus telling me they're the same. First sign is a negative telling me both of them are negatives. And uh, whatever is underneath that square, the, the, the side length of that square that was added, 7 over 4. Okay, that gets squared. And now 9 minus that answer. So what is that? 9, that's plus 9 minus, uh, 4 squared is 16. So 2, it goes into itself once into 16, 8 times. So 7 over 8. So 9 minus 7 over 8. So 9. To get it over 8, I must multiply the numerator and the denominator by 8, which means I get 72. And so now I can add them together, which means minus 7, I get 65 over 8. And there we go, we have completed the square for a question like ax squared plus bx plus c. Cool. I'm sure it was a little bit confusing, but go practice a few on your own. After a while, you'll see it's actually quite easy. Good luck.